Welcome back to Tider Insider TV. Well, as we mentioned earlier, Friday's Alabama-Mississippi State basketball game was interrupted by what witnesses say sounded like a freight train. At the same time the game was going on outside the Georgia Dome, Mother Nature was unleashing her fury. What turned out to be a tornado in the streets of downtown Atlanta Friday night created a scary situation in the final moments of the Alabama-Mississippi State basketball game. With about two minutes to play in overtime, the Georgia Dome's overhead scaffolding began to sway and everything from nuts and bolts to small pieces of insulation began to fall to the floor. To that point, play was suspended. Well, when it first happened, I could obviously look up and saw everything swaying and uh, I didn't know what it was. I just knew something was happening and uh, wanted to get our team out of there. During the waiting period, the players and coaches began to try and contact their family members, some of which were in the dome watching the tournament. However, the storm outside interfered with everything from cell service to the game's television broadcast. I think everyone was calling and uh, the phones were tied up, so that was a little something to worry about. I finally got a text message through from my, uh, my dad saying that everyone was okay and just focus on the game. The damage was apparent as the storm ripped holes in the fabric roof of the dome and outside, debris littered the sidewalks and pavement. Uh, again, we planned for a lot of things. We sure didn't plan for a tornado. Um, you know, what a moment that was. And for that moment, it made you forget all about that game. Once the storm left the area and Georgia Dome officials concluded that it would be safe to finish the game, the teams returned to the court more than an hour after the entire ordeal began. I think everybody felt we weren't in any Brave danger. I think they were ready to play. They're excited. Of course, that excitement was tempered after.